good afternoon uh, today we are going to do some questions on function relation and function so in this i am taking first question question let set a equals to 1 to b equals to 3 4 5 write down number 1 cartesian product a cross b second write down relation or such that a to b such that a plus b is even third also write down uh, write down the function write down the function f such that a to b such that a plus b is even your f is defined as ordered pair a b such that a belongs to a b belongs to b and a plus b is even that is your function also write down domain co domain domain co domain and range of the function and range of f that is the question we are going to do the whole things this is the conclusion of the chartic function so from where we start we have started from cartesian product then to relation then to function everything is involved here try to understand first part your a cross b your set a is 1 2 cross b is 3 4 5 now you can write your a cross b as 1 3 1 4 1 5 and 2 3 2 4 and 2 5 now you write down the elements of relation those element of a cross b are the elements of the relation which gives the sum of first and second element in the ordered pair is even first of all i have taken 1 3 sum of 1 and 3 is even so therefore in second part element of relation r is 1 3 in in the order to have one for your sum is 5 it is odd that is not there in the order to have one 5 your sum of 1 and 5 is 6 that is even so you can write down this is 1 5 2 3 sum is 2 plus 3 equal to 5 the 5 is odd In the order pair two four sum is two plus four equals to six that is even. So another element of relation is two four and in case of two five their sum is odd two plus five is seven. So therefore that is not the element of relation. This is the second part. Now you come to third part. How can you manage the third part? write down the function f such that what happens how you are by how we are by forgetting the uh, function uh, relation uh, function from relation 
Your relation is this. From this relation, you have to make functions that will satisfy the property of function. From this relation, we have to bifurcate as function. So how can we bifurcate this relation as a function? A function f sub that a to b is defined as from this relation because both the conditions are satisfied in case of function also. So your first function f1 is defined as 1, 3 and 2, 4. Your f2 is 1, 5 and 2, 4. So in this case when you define f1 this is your set A and this is your set B your element in the set is 1, 2 and 3, 4, 5 in B so you can see that your association of 1 is with 3 2 is 4 this is a function they satisfy both the conditions of the function and now in F2 this is A and this is B here 3, 4, 5 1, 2 association of 1 is 5 2 is 4 so this is F2 again this F2 also satisfy the condition of function both the condition of function so domain of m f1 is 1 2 and codomain the set b that is equal to 3 4 5 and range of f1 range of f1 is equals to 3 4 now domain of f this is first case domain of f2 that is is 1 2 codomain that is equals to set b 3 4 5 and a range of f2 that is equals to 4, 5. So in this way, you can do this type of question. Now I am taking another question.
your first two one five one. Eight one, eleven one, fourteen one, seventeen one. This is your first relation. Second, f one, f two. We define this as f one, f two, f three. This is f one. Your second is f two. This is defined as two one, four two, six three, eight four, ten five, twelve six, and fourteen seven, and third is F three. Relation F three. Is defined as one three, one five, two five. So now you see your first part, F one. F one equals to two one. I am writing the solution. This is F one is two one, five one, eight one, eleven one, fourteen one. Seventeen one. So now show it. Show this relation by arrow diagram. You represent the visual representation of this relation. Set A to set B. Two, five, eight, eleven, fourteen, and seventeen. And there is only one element. Two is associated with one. Five is with one. Eight, eleven, fourteen, and seventeen. Now you observe that your all the elements of the set A is associated under F one. Your each element of set A is associated. Under F one with the element one, first condition is satisfied. Now second condition, association of each element has one and only one element. That is one. Two is associated with one. No element has more than one association. So second condition is also satisfied. Do you understand that? So in this say. F in F one, what happens? Your first condition is each element of A has the association. This is your first condition is satisfied. Second. Each element of A has one and only one association. So in this way, both the conditions are satisfied. Therefore, this implies that. F one is a F one is a function. Now, if it is a function, then write down its domain and range. F one is a function. Now, write down its domain and range. Your domain is your domain. Is Of f one is equals to two five eight eleven fourteen and seventeen. Range equals to single element one. So it has only one element in the range. 
Now second part. Now I am taking second part. For second part, your F2 is defined as 2, 1, 4, 2, 6, 3, 8, 4, 10, 5, 12, 6, and 14, 7. So now in this way, you show this relation by visual representation. So this is your set A, this is your set B. The element of A is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 and 14. An element of B is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 2 is associated with 1, 4 is associated with 2, 6 is with 3, 8 is with 4, 10 is with 5, 12 is with 6 and 14 is with 7. So now from this visual representation of relation F2 from visual representation of relation F2, we find that number 1, each element of A, each element of A is associated with element of B with element of B and second each element of A has one and only one association so in this way this implies that F2 is a function and in this way we can say that what are the uh, domain and range of this function so for domain and range your domain of F2 domain of F2 is equals to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 and 14 and range of F2 that is equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. As you know the definition of range, range is a subset of B which is the collection of image element of the element of A. So that's why this is the range as you know. Now next question. Third part. Third part of this. Now, visual representation of F3. Third part. Your third part, F3. Visual representation of F3. representation of F3. So this is the set A and this is the set B. 1, 2, 3, 5. 1 is associated with 3 with 5 and 2 is associated with 5. Now from visual representation B I S U A from visual representation. 
विजुअल रिप्रेजेंटेशन वी फाइंड दैट नंबर वन वन is related to 3 and 1 is related to 5 so so the element 1 of a has no 1 and only one association one only has no one and only one association so second condition second condition of the function is not satisfied therefore f3 is not a function a is not a function now So now you see it carefully. As you know that a function f sub that r to r defined by f x is equals to mod x. This is called a modulus function. Is a modulus function. So now you see. its domain its domain is equal to set of real number that is the open interval minus infinity to infinity and range of this modulus function is 0 to infinity your range is this that is known as set of non negative integers you remember that so what is the difference between this given function which is given you to obtain the domain and range of this function you find the difference first between this modulus function and this modulus this function This is also a modulus function, but it is minus time the modulus function. So how do you find the domain and range of this function? So your domain of this modulus function and this function is unaltered because when you multiply your this integral by the minus sign, set of negative integers becomes positive. A set of negative real numbers becomes positive real numbers, and a set of positive real numbers becomes negative real numbers, and the number zero. So your domain does not change. So in this way, your domain is defined as 
minus infinity to infinity that is equal to r the set of real number r is your set of real number and similarly for range you multiply the range of this by minus sign then it becomes minus infinity to zero zero is included in this so in this way your domain and range are multiplied by minus sign in the domain of uh, domain and range of the function fx is equal to mod x you will get this you remember this thing now second part how will you find the domain since we know that since we know that we are unable to find the square root of square root of negative real numbers you remember this thing we can find the square root of 0 square root of 0 is 0 and uh, we cannot find uh, we can also find the square root of positive real numbers so in this say what you can say therefore your 9 minus x square is greater than r equal to 0 fx is defined means this implies that fx is defined earlier i have told you how you find the domain of the function domain of the fun function consists of all real values for which function is defined that is the definition of domain first of all i write the definition of domain domain of fx consist of those real values for which fx is defined fx is defined domain domain of a function fx consists of those real values for which fx is defined and we find domain of the function only apply this idea to any function so in this way we can write it now since we know that we, can, we are unable to find the square root of negative real numbers so fx is defined when 9 minus x square is greater than or equal to 0 so in this way we can write x square minus 9 is less than or equal to 0. You write the factor of x square minus 9. When you substitute each factor equal to 0, you will find the value of x. The zeros of the factor, each factor. So first zeros is value of x are x is equal to minus 3 and x equal to 3 and make a number line. On this number line, you mark these values minus 3 and 3 from where you get minus 3 and 3. It is obtained by substituting each factor equal to 0. So this factor will give you x equal to minus 3 and this will give you x equal to 3. So there are 3 intervals you obtained. One is the value of x from minus infinity to minus 3 and another is minus 3 to 3 and third is 3 to infinity minus infinity to minus 3 another is minus 3 to 3 3 to infinity your 
this set of real number is divided into three intervals. Now you see that the, the value of x, where we take the value of x, in which interval we take the value of x, so that your this condition is satisfied. So when you take the value of x here, your product of x plus 3, x minus 3 is not less than or equal to 0. When you take here, that also does not satisfy 1. So, minus 3 and 3 will satisfy will satisfy 1. Therefore, domain of fx is equal to close interval minus 3 to 3 and you can define it in set builder form x such that x belongs to r minus 3 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 3. You can write in any way. Now for range, what do you do for range? How do you find the range of this function? Since you know that fx is always positive, first, first idea fx is always positive. If y equals to fx, this implies that y is positive, y cannot be negative y never less than or equal to 0 because a square root of any real number is not negative. It is always positive or 0. So y is always positive. So this is 1. Now put y equals to fx in 1. You get y is equal to under root 9 minus x square. By square you can write this is 9 minus x square, x square is 9 minus y square and again you can write x equals to under root 9 minus y square. x is defined only when 9 minus y square is greater than or equal to 0. This implies that y square minus 9 is less than 0. y plus 3, y minus 3 is less than or equal to 0. This implies that your y lies between minus 3 and 3. And this is equal to the close interval minus 3 and 3. And we know that y is not negative or we say that y is always positive since y is always positive therefore y belongs to the close interval 0 to 3. So your range is equals to close interval 0 to 3 or it is defined as all y such that y belongs to r, 0 is less than or equal to y is less than or equal to 3. So in this way we are finding the domain and range of the function. Now another question. Find the domain of the function, find the domain of the function fx is equal to x upon x square minus 3x plus 2. Find the domain of this function. So as you know that 
a function fx is equal to gx by px is defined only when px is not equal to 0. The function given in denominator is not equal to 0. So by this rule you can say that fx is defined only when x square minus 3x plus 2 is not equal to 0. In other words, you can say that fx is not defined. fx is not defined when x square minus 3x plus 2 equal to 0. The same thing you can say in this way also. Now you get a quadratic equation. You solve this quadratic equation and find the value of x. The value of x obtained from this step. For those value, real values of x, your fx is not defined. Means that real values do not exist in the domain of this function. So you solve this x square minus 2x minus x plus 2 equal to 0. Their factors are x minus 2 and x minus 1 equal to 0. That gives x equal to 1 and 2. So, your fx is not defined when x equal to 1, x equal to 2 and fx is defined for other real values for other real values so you can write your domain is equal to as a different set r this is defined as a different set of set of real number and the set obtained by these two value of x that is 1 2 r minus 1 2 and that is the domain of this function. Another question. Find the domain and range of the function. Question. Find the domain and range of the function function fx equals to 3 upon 2 minus x square so now you may see that similarly fx is equal to given that solution given that fx is equal to 3 upon 2 minus x square fx is not defined defined when 2 minus x square equal to 0 and value of x is plus minus root 2 so your domain of this function is as a difference of set of real number and the set minus root 2 root 2 that is the domain of this function uh, this is domain domain of fx now range of fx what we do for range of fx let y equals to fx and we can write y is equal to 3 upon 2 minus x square 2y minus 2x square is equal to 3 2y minus 3 is equal to 2x square now you can write now you can write 2x square is equals to 2y minus 3 x square is 2y minus 3 by 2 x is equal to 
under root 2y minus 3 by 2. So now I say x is defined when 2y minus 3 is greater than or equal to 0, y is greater than or equal to 3 by 2. So, y belongs to the interval 3 by 2 infinity. So, your range of fx is equals to 3 by 2 to infinity. So, in this way, you can find domain and range of the function. Another question. Find the range of the function fx equals to. Your another question is. Question. Find the range of fx is equal to x upon 1 plus x square. Now I say your solution let y is equals to fx you can write y is equals to x upon 1 plus x square you find x in terms of y so y plus y x square is equal to x now y is equal to x minus y x square now you can write yx square minus x plus y is equal to 0. From here your value of x is by quadratic formula 1 plus minus under root 1 minus 4y square upon 2y. Because this is quadratic in x, so you can find the value of x by this form. So, For real x, your 1 minus 4y square is greater than or equal to 0. 4y square minus 1 is less than or equal to 0. Your factors are 2y plus 1 and 2y minus 1 is less than or equal to 0. This implies that minus half is less than or equal to y is less than or equal to plus half. So in this way, can you say your value of y is negative? Can you say? Negative value of y is possible. Negative value of x is possible from here. Because you numerator there is x. That gives you the value of fx negative. So your range of this function, range of fx is equal to the closed interval minus half half. So proceed in this way. Now another question. Find the domain and range of the following function. Question. Find domain and range of the following function. Number 1, under root 16 minus x square. Second, fx is equal to 1 upon under root x minus 5. This question is given to you. Another question. Find the range of the following function. Following function. Number one, fx is equals to 
1 minus modulus of x minus 2. Second, fx is equals to mod x minus 4 upon x minus 4. First case. First case. As you know that if your if fx is equals to mod x then your range is 0 is less than or equal to mod x is less than infinity. This is the range. So if fx is equal to mod x minus 2 then in this case your range is same 0 is less than or equal to mod x minus 2 is less than infinity your range does not change your modulus function may be mod x plus a mod x minus a mod x minus 10 mod x plus 100 anything may be there but your range of the function unaltered for that modulus function. So when you take now minus mod x minus 2 then what happens? Your minus infinity towards this side and this is less than or equal to 0. Now you add 1 in each part of this inequality. So as you know that from minus infinity you put something in it, you draw something from that, you your value remains infinity that will not change to so minus infinity plus 1 is minus infinity is less than 1 minus mod x minus 2 is less than or equal to 1 so minus infinity is less than fx is less than or equal to 1 so value of y assumes the uh, range so in this way your range of fx is equals to the interval minus infinity to 1. This is, this is the range of f. In range, you have to collect the image element of x under f. Now second, your second function. In case of second function, what happens? Second, fx is equals to mod x minus 4 upon x minus 4 and x equal to 4 fx is not defined so there is no question the corresponding value of fx at x equal to 4 will be in the range of f so in this way you forget about this now a mod x minus 4 is equal to minus time x minus 4 if x less than 4 and mod x minus 4 is equal to x minus 4 if x greater than 4. So you find the value of fx under both the conditions. Your value of fx is minus 1 if x less than 4 because fx is equals to minus x minus 4 upon x minus 4 this will gives you minus 1 and your fx is equal to 1 if x greater than 4 because of fx equal to x minus 4 upon x minus 4 that is 1 so range consists of only two elements minus 1 and 1. So range of this function has only two elements that is minus 1 and 1. Now find the domain of the function. Question Find Domain 
डोमेन ऑफ एफ एक्स इक्वल टू वन अपॉन अंडर रूट एक्स प्लस मॉड एक्स यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट द डोमेन ऑफ दिस फंक्शन ना इसी सॉल्यूशन गिवन दैट एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन अंडर रूट x plus modulus x. This is one. F x is defined. This is not defined at when x plus mod x equal to zero, because one upon zero is infinity. F x is not defined when your this thing is zero, and the, uh, this is also not defined for negative real values of x plus mod x. So f x is defined when x plus mod x is greater than zero. X plus modulus x is greater than zero. This implies that x is greater than minus mod x. Mod x, or you can say that mod x. X is greater than minus mod x. So now you say, when you say x is greater than minus mod x, or you can say mod x is greater than minus x. Mod x is greater than minus x. Or x is you can write both. X is greater than minus mod x, or mod x is greater than minus x. Both have the same meaning, and this will happen only when you take x as a positive real number. You cannot take x equal to zero. When you take x equal to zero, again f x becomes undefined. So in this case, when you take positive real numbers, the modulus of positive real numbers is positive, and this becomes negative. And positive real numbers are always greater than negative real numbers, so it means that this two two holds only when we take x belongs to zero to infinity. So your domain of this function by the definition of Domain, domain of this function is equal to open interval zero to infinity. You remember that. Now another question: Find the domain and range of the following function. Find the domain and range of the following function. Find the domain. And range of f x equal to one upon under root x minus greatest integer function. Solution given that f x equals to one upon Under root x minus this f x is defined when x minus greatest integer function is greater than zero. If x is i set of integers. Set of an integer. In that case, x minus mod x equal to zero and f x becomes undefined. Undefined. This is undefined. This is f x is 
becomes undefined. So, and when you take other real, val real values other than the integers, then what happens? When you take other real values, uh, when you take real values other than integers, if we take real values other than integers, other than integers, then x minus this thing is greater than 0 and fx is defined. Therefore, your domain of this function is equal to r minus i. That's all. And what about range? Now I am obtaining the range of this function. How will you find the range of this function? As we know that, as we know that, as we know that, yeah. this is, this is less than x, this is less than this much, that is integer. Every number lies between their consecutive integers. So, in this way, we can write 0 is less than x minus this thing is less than 1. So now you can, can say that 1 upon 0 is greater than 1 upon x minus greater than 0. One thing is more. Under root 0 is less than under root x minus this is less than under root 1. Then 0 is less than under root x minus this thing is less than 1. Oh, now 1 upon 0 is greater than 1 upon under root x minus this thing is greater than 1 upon 1. So, infinity is greater than fx is greater than 1. This implies that 1 is less than fx is less than infinity. 1 is less than y is less than infinity. Therefore, range of fx is equals to interval 1 to infinity. In this way, we can find the domain and range of this function. These questions may ask many times in computer exam. So now I am giving you some assignment. Some of the question given you to solve by own and you practice that. If you have any difficulty, you tell me on Zoom. Question number assignment. Question number one, find the domain of the following function, of the following function. Number one, fx is equal to x upon x squared plus 3x plus 2 and second is fx is equal to under root 2x minus 4. Second, find the domain and range of the following function. Find the domain and range of the range of the following function. Number 1, fx equal to 
1 minus modulus of x minus 3 and second fx is equals to mod x minus 3 upon x minus 3. Question number 3 let f is defined as let f is equals to x x is square upon x is square plus 1 x belongs to r x belongs to r be a function be a function find its range question number 4 if fx equals to x square find f of 1.1 minus f1 upon 1.1 minus 1 so these are the question this is given for your practice and in this way I have finished set relation and function. First two chapters are